Welcome back everyone for our last night of arachnids and hopefully the conclusion of our cool, well, we had to figure it out first, camouflage book, Secrets of Animal Camouflage. And that's actually where we're going to start today before we meet our last arachnid and finish up arachnids. So got my flashlight. I'm not going to need it for today's animal although they're very closely related to one of our arachnids from last night, but we'll be able to shine and see the animals in our story that was really cool. So, secrets of animal camouflage. And maybe we'll read that last page again since it was only one and it was really cool to remember. And remember, some animals are good at hiding because of their color or pattern. This is called camouflage. If you look closely among the flowers and trees, on the seabed and in the grasslands, you may be able to spot hidden animals. So you're ready to do that again? Here we were. Type of insect, six legs, three body parts, and two antenna. These busy bees are collecting pollen from the yellow and white flowers, but they need to be careful who is watching them. And let's see if we can get it to work. I'll turn my flashlight on. see it. Oh no, tell me it's not gonna, there it is. <gasps> dun, dun, dun. Let's see over here. Can you see it? Let's see if it's gonna work. Dun, dun, dun. There it is. <sighs> Two white banded crab spiders are waiting to pounce. Crab spiders are a racket with eight legs and two body parts and Two pedipalps. The spiders change color to match the yellow and white flowers. Camouflage. So the bees don't notice them. There you go. A brightly colored trogon is perched in a tree. He is hungry and on the lookout for insects to eat. Can you spot any? Let's see if we can. But first, what type of animal is the trogon? A bird with feathers and wings and a beak and cool feet. All right, let's see. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I have a sneak peek of this insect back here. Let's see. Can we see him? Let's see. I don't know. It's going to be hard. Oh, I'm getting some body outlines. I might just have to turn the page and we'll see it because this is a little bit harder. Oh, 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 I see some body. I see some body. You ready? Let's see who it is. <gasps> Whoa, look at that insect. Russell. A long, leggy walking stick. What great camouflage. An insect that looks like a stick. But I see those six legs and two body parts. Balancing on a branch, it looks just like a twig. The walking stick stays still all day. It moves at night when most birds are asleep. So he really camouflaged there. You can kind of see his, his body outline right there without the light. There's like his antenna. What great camouflage. <gasps> Shh. Is something prowling through the grass? Oh, this one might be easier for you to see without the light, but we're gonna do the light anyway and see if it works. Who's that? Look at that. Do you see the outline? Do you see him? Who's that with those stripes? What do you think? Let's see. It's Ah, fierce Bengal tiger. His orange coat with long stripes makes her hard to spot in the tall golden grass. Look at that camouflage, oh my goodness. A nimble fox squirrel has scurried up this tree. He is searching for the hollow in the trunk where he will make a nest. Can you see what is covering? Cowering in it, covering in it, covering it. Let's see. Who's that? Look at that body outline. Look at that body shape. Let's see. 
Let me get a move the light's not helping. Do you see it? Look at that. Look. <gasps> Whoa, whose face is that? Whose face is that? Who's covering the hole? It's a screech owl. Her pattern feathers. Feathers must be a bird. Match the colors of the tree bark. The owl can stay very still. It makes it difficult to see her. So did you see how well she was camouflaged? Look, there's some feathers above her beak and her eyes. Ah! A white-tailed deer, hey, we have them in our woods, is going deeper into the forest to look for food. What is she leaving behind? Wow, I like that some of these are actually animals that live near us, like the squirrel and the owl and the deer. Do we have anything else that lived near us? Let's say we have stick insects. We have bees. How cool. All right, let's see what Mama Deer left behind. What do you think Mama Deer left behind? Do you see anything hiding? Let's see. <gasps> What's that? Do you see it? There's something down there hiding. Look. Look. It. What do you think? Shh, it's her baby. A fawn with a red brown coat and white spots. The color of its coat helps to hide it in the red brown leaves. Great camouflage. When the mother has found food, she will return to feed her fawn. I'm checking on how many pages we have left because we have quite a few and I don't know that we're going to get through it. So, We'll do maybe like one or two more, we'll see. And then we'll finish some tomorrow too. Are you ready? This is an animal that doesn't live near us. In the grasslands, a baby giraffe pulls the leaves from a tree. Hey, who is eating at the treetops? Who is camouflaged? Let's see. Let's get that light and see. Oh, who do you see? Look, who's up there and look, oh. I'm spotting a lot. Look at that body down there. Look at that. Let's bring it over here. Can we see? Can we see? No. Oh, 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 there's a nice head shape. Whoa. Whoa. Let's see. Let's see. Stretch. The mother giraffe. That's who? She lengthens her long neck to reach the topmost leaves. The dark markings on her light colored coat coat help her to hide among the leaves and the sunlit patches in the tree what great camouflage wow camouflage is really cool all right last one this little green lizard is what kind of animal a reptile with scales and shed skin and ectothermic this little green lizard is frightened an owl is staring at it from behind the leaves. Can you see the owl eyes? Wait a minute. Let's see. Let's shine a light and see if we can see it better. You ready? Let's see. Oh, oh, I see some shapes. I see some shapes behind the leaves. Hmm. That's silly. I'm not seeing too many. Oh, what is that? Is that a... Okay, they're not really owl eyes. Just two large spots on an owl butterfly's wings. By disguising itself, the butterfly protects itself from the lizard because lizards are scared of owls. Wow. So we're gonna stop here. We'll remember we're on this pretty orchid flower page, which reminds me of another insect that I actually don't have right now. Um, but we'll stop there and we're going to meet our arachnid for the day. Now let's see if we can remember what made arachnid special. Do you remember? They had eight legs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And two body parts. They had a head which was kind of a head and a thorax together. So it was actually a cephalothorax, cephalothorax, and abdomen, two body parts, one, two. And what are these two little things? They're not antenna. 
there. Pata Palps. Remember Palpatine? Pata Palps. So there's their two Pata Palps and two body parts and eight legs. Make a Rachnid's cool. Okay, so are you ready for our Rachnid visitor tonight? Now, this one is really cool. So I am going to bring out, I'll tell you before I bring them out, another scorpion. Yeah, yeah. Scorpion, right? Let's see. Hmm. Another scorpion, which sometimes likes to hide. Nope, not hiding. In his tunnels. And of course, hiding in his tunnels. So let's see if I can bring out this scorpion. Okay. So he's just a baby. little close here so you can see this whoa this scorpion what wait a minute he doesn't quite look the same do you remember palpatine had that stinger i'm not i see a tail i see the tail but i'm not quite seeing a stinger doesn't feel very stingy. No, it does not. But I see, let's see if we can count. I see one, two. Whoa, you're out of frame. One, two, three, four. Whoa, we're out of frame again. Five, six, seven, eight. I do count eight legs. I'll turn it again so you can see. Sorry, I have to make sure I keep him from falling because he could get hurt if he falls. So that's why I'm counting and going out of frame sometimes. One, two, three, four. Oh, five, six, seven, eight legs. You'll have to take another look. And let's see. I see one body part. I see a cephalothorax. Look at how big and fat that abdomen is. He likes to eat a lot of food. Hmm. And look at his little, do you see his little pedipalps? He has little pedipalps that look like a scorpion. Little pinchers. So eight legs, two body parts, two pedipalps, definitely arachnid. And he kind of looks like a scorpion, but I'll tell you a secret. He's a special kind of scorpion. He's called a whip tail scorpion. So that's why his tail doesn't look like it has a stinger and it doesn't have a stinger. It looks more like a whip tail and now, but it does help protect him. So not only does he look like he could have pretty good camouflage and maybe hide under some, some, some leaf litter or things, but his tail helps keep him safe because his name is a vinegaroon. That's the type of arachnid he is, a vinegaroon, a whiptail scorpion. And what he does is when he gets scared or he thinks somebody might eat him, he makes vinegar from his tail. Acetic acid, just like vinegar. And it smells like vinegar. I've never tasted it, but it's kind of stinky. And it might it might bother an animal's eyes. It might just smell like, I don't want to eat that. Yuck. In fact, yesterday the, or the other day we had chips with vinegar and my children didn't like it. So not always a great taste for people. I don't mind it. But a vinegaroon. Yeah. So this vinegaroon here has a, has a lot of different names. A lot of children give him different names. Sometimes they call him Vinny. I've called him Theron. So all different kinds of names. Now, they, believe it or not, live in the United States. Yeah, they can be found out southwest, again, near Arizona or New Mexico. Yeah, so they kind of like the deserty areas, too. And if you look, what's really cool is though arachnids don't have antenna, if you look carefully, his front two, oh my goodness, his front two legs are longer than the others, and he is using them very much like antenna to feel around. You can see him feeling around as he walks because they have eyes, but they're not really good at seeing. So there, he's going to kind of hold him steady. There is my vinegaroon. Pretty cool, right? So I think it's time we have to sing the arachnid song one last time as we say good night, vinegaroon. Good night, Theron. Are you ready? Arachnids, arachnids, have eight legs, have eight legs. Arachnids, 
Arachnids have two body parts, two body parts. Arachnids, arachnids have two pedipalps, two pedipalps. Cause arachnids, arachnids are very cool. They're really cool. Aren't they pretty cool? Well, you know what? I did promise to bring you some of the arachnid shed too that I never grabbed. Maybe tomorrow, even though we're not talking about arachnids. But I think it's time. Sorry, it's been harder to see him. I just want to really be careful I don't drop him because I don't want him to, to hurt himself and bust his little abdomen. But let's see if we can get a good shot. There is my vinegaroon. And it's time to say good night, vinegaroon. Good night, arachnids. And good night to all of you. Good night.